Hello there guys, it is Ivis Onyx, and I'm here with another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to teach you guys how to install CMake. And, um, you know, why, do, why is this so important, actually? Well, CMake um, gets rid of the stress of having to compile um, C, the C language to executables or um, creating uh, libraries, for instance. And in this demonstration, I want to teach you guys me installing um, LOHTP. So, um, first of all, how can I install CMake? Well, allow me to answer that question for you. In fact, let me get rid of this. I was doing tests before I demonstrate this. Um, yeah, let me see what you do there before we get into all of that. But basically, what you can do is um, is simply to install CMake, actually. You can just pip install CMake. Now, I already have it, and it's going to tell me that I already have it. But what this does is that it gets rid of the burden of um, setting up an environment variable for CMake. And it will be wherever you go if you have Python already. So what that does is makes your life easier. Because now CMake is in the script directory. You can reach it. It's all right there. So if I go to CMake-help, it's already going to be there for me. Which is very nice. It's kind of cool actually that I can have all this right here and th the environment variables are remade. Unfortunately Tor is not that way and I still have to go to my settings and make Tor to an environment variable but you, you get the idea. We can cover how to set up Tor in a future video as an environment variable but allow me to in this miscellaneous tutorial, teach you how to go about installing LHTP. So, what you're going to want to do is go here. And what I like about this is that um, they actually have a specific way that they build um, this HTTP parser. And that is that it's not written in C. It's written in TypeScript. In fact, the library is so cool that I actually wrote all of all of this in Python. And I don't know if I'll resume the project, but we shall see. I just, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's actually... What I'll do actually is maybe let's just I'll delete this and then I'll pretend that I'm gonna fresh install this for you guys so that you're more easily able to follow along with me and what I'm doing. So I'll do that really fast. Let me delete all this and let's pretend that I'm gonna do a fresh install of LOHP for you guys. So I go here. I go and I pick the zip file. I could also go with tar gzip, but um, I'm not using Ubuntu at the moment. I actually have an Ubuntu system. But there we go. I have it. And now I can extract it right here but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move all this I'm gonna move uh, on control Z there we go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all this into this directory right here make sure I'm still recording and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, delete all this now 
I don't need it. I extracted this library. I put it into the LHP directory. So what I can do now is I can open up command prompt using CMD in my um, folder right here. What that's going to do is that's going to open up command prompt and it's going to send me straight to right there so that I don't have to CD all the way to it. That would take too long. But um, now we can um, do this. I can uh, make the directory. Which um, it should be very simple. Um, mkdir build, and then what that's going to do is that's going to build me the directory. From there, I'm going to change the, my directory. I'm going to move straight into build, and then I'm going to um, use the cmake command like this. And what this is, what this is saying to the system is that I want to um, I want to build this via point directly to the parent directory, which is should be this CMake list text file, and then um, what I'm going to add is a flag to um, compile this to a static library. So I'm going to add this. And I'm going to change this one to an on because it means I'm going to turn I'm going to turn on the option for compiling to a static library since I write um, actually write Python modules and I write Cython so I like to have static libraries available to me so I'm going to now um, build the um, stuff I need to um, make this library. Now it's important to note that you will need a Visual Studio which I already have installed but maybe in a future video I can go over me installing all that other stuff. So there we go we have it and now what I can do is I can go to the build directory and here will be the solution folder, so we can open up our solution folder. And then we can um, go, we need to switch debug to release. And then, because we're not de we're not building a debugging library, we're building just a regular static library. Shared means that we'll build a DLL file. And then, if we want to build static, we... Um, we right click on this and then we hit build. And then this is going to build the HTTP parser and um, into a static library, which is really nice. Because now all we have to really focus on is moving our header file wherever we need it. And then we just need to put our lib, um, our lib object into another directory to use it and compile what we need. So that was a quick tutorial on how to use uh, CMake and how to install some C libraries, for instance. If you want me to cover anything else, please leave it down in the comments below. And I will see you on the next video.